almost two weeks ago on 3rd May, TFI published an article that after the lockdown, the government would promote local Kirana stores and markets while e-commerce players like Amazon and Flipkart, which discriminate with retailers despite being third-party platforms, would feel the heat. In yesterday's message at 8 p.m., PM Modi appealed on very similar lines. He said that local manufacturing and supply chains sustained us in the tough times of coronavirus and the people of the country now must pay back to these shop owners. Making a case for Atmanirbhar Bharat, that is self-dependent India, PM Modi asked the people to be vocal for local products. He said global brands began locally. But when the people started marketing, branding and praising, they became global. Every Indian should become vocal for local. Don't just buy, but promote. Since the announcement of coronavirus-induced lockdown, the local Kirana stores have kept our lifeline running. Had it not been for the sophisticated network of Kirana stores, which not only supply products, but also extend credit to known people during difficult times, millions of people would have been forced to sleep without a two-time meal. The government has noticed the Herculean effort made by Kirana stores and is willing to extend policy support. PM Modi also praised the local supply chains and manufacturing for sailing the country through corona crisis and said, local help us through the crisis help us survive. We have to make local a motto. Foreign-owned e-commerce firms like Amazon and Flipkart, which followed discriminatory practice towards the local shop owners to win the discounting game, are now under the radar of the government. Last month, when the announcement of the second phase lockdown was made, the government shocked e-commerce companies by not allowing them to extend the delivery of non-essential items. Last year, speaking at an event in New Delhi, Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal had said, they, that is Amazon or Flipkart, may have put in a billion dollars, but if they make a loss of a billion dollars every year, then jolly well will have to finance that billion dollar. So it is not as if they are doing a favour to India when they invest a billion dollars. After PM Modi's speech, it is very much evident that the government is willing to pay back to the local stores for being frontline warriors against coronavirus. Given the fact that the major e-commerce players in India, Amazon and Flipkart, are foreign-owned entities, the government would rather support Geomart, which aims to support local shops in its e-commerce model. Geomart has already begun testing in Mumbai and is planning to launch the service very soon and with the help of the newly inked deal with Facebook, which would allow it to use WhatsApp pay and penetrate to rural markets. One can contest the unfair policies of the government towards the existing e-commerce companies, but the government allowed them to operate for such a long time even though they openly flouted the norms by opening their retail stores. The government is just correcting its mistakes by supporting the Kirana stores and local shops in the market. A few weeks ago, Principal Economic Advisor Sajeev Sahnyal, who is among the influential members of the Modi government when it comes to economic policy making, tweeted in support of local market shops. He tweeted, One of the backbones of the COVID-19 lockdown is India's Kirana shop network. They have not merely kept 1.3 billion people supplied despite many difficulties, they extend localized credit, provide doorstep deliveries and source product for specific needs. An incredible effort. Arguing for modernization of these shops for the 21st century, Sanyal further wrote, this Kirana shop network is not merely an important part of our economic system, but is a part of our social capital. It should not be allowed to be dissolved by impersonal mega chains. We need to clean up local marketplaces and modernize them for the 21st century. Another influential BJP leader who actively supports the cause of local traders and Kirana stores is Dr. Subramaniam Swami. Last year, Swami tweeted, we should back our traders on the Flipkart slash Amazon issue. When we can access Amazon of USA through credit cards, what is the need to allow Amazon in India? Traders are a solid base of our culture and Amazon will destroy that. Same problem is with Walmart. Dr. Swami regularly supports the cause of CAIT speaks about it on public forums and Twitter. With PM Modi's personal efforts in the promotion of local products and local supply chains, the golden days for more than 2 crore local retailers who suffered in the hands of Flipkart and Amazon are now ahead. Now the e-commerce companies would not be given a free pass to sell discounted products of their own companies despite being a third-party platform and this would benefit the local supply chains.